my name is Patrick Smith with ATG USA. This is a tech tip video, and in this tech tip video, we are going to be covering uh, filters inside of your layer properties. So, layer uh, filters in your layer properties are an easy way to categorize your layers. And if you have a hundred or two or three, four hundred uh, layers, it can be very useful to categorize your uh, layers for easy access and easy way to find your layers. As you can see here on the left hand side I've already got some pre-made ones from our uh, ATG template that we have. <clears throat> I'm going to be adding a couple to this. There are two different ways to uh, categorize or create uh, group filters. Uh, the first one is simply a group filter and that's right here on the top left uh, just this folder here. And then the other one's going to be a property filter, which I'll show you after I get done with the group filter. So to create a new group filter, you're just going to simply click the folder. And I'm going to name this one, uh, let's go with GNO. <clears throat> so with GNO, I'm just saying, I probably won't actually have a filter named GNO. But um, this is just for this example. I'm going to scroll all, all the way down to my G anos. And let's say I wanted to just group all my G uh, anos into a simple uh, filter. I'm going to select the top one here, hold down shift, and then select the last one that I want. And then it has all of them selected. And I'm just going to simply drag one and then drag it straight into the G anno folder here. Now, as you can tell here, I go to my G Anno and all of my G Anno have been filtered into a single folder. That's not going to remove them from the all. They're still going to show up in all category here. However, uh, in the G Anno, it's only going to show G Anno or whatever you put into that folder specifically. The other uh, way to filter out items is going to be the properties filter here. So if you click on it, it's going to pull up a properties dialog box. So the cool thing about this is uh, that I like to use this for is to create um, filters for my on and off layers and my a filter for my frozen and thawed layers to quickly let me see exactly what's been thawed, what's been unthawed inside my filters. So to do that, I'm going to first, I'm going to make a filter for my on layer or my off layer there and then I have to go down here to the next filter option and I'm going to turn a, uh, a frozen symbol on and I turned some layers off just randomly and I froze a couple layers randomly um, and you can see those right here so if I hit OK gonna make my new layer here and I can right click and I can rename this and I'm going to call it <clears throat> off frozen. So now that if you want to quickly see any layers that have been frozen or any layers that have been turned off, you can just click on your layer filter here and it'll show you exactly what's been frozen, what's been turned off. Very quick. And that's it for this quick tech, uh, tech tip video. And uh, thank you for watching.